Curious about the future of transportation? Well, we're giving you a sneak peek at a tech showcase with the latest breakthroughs in things like drones and autonomous vehicles. Our Tiffany Huerta shows us the latest technologies bringing transportation leaders from across the state together. This is a glimpse into what the future of transportation could look like. One of the examples that we're showcasing today is a conceptual video of what a flight would look like between the port and the uh, Kelly Lackland um, hub right down the street. Paco Felici with Port San Antonio discussed plans that could turn San Antonio into a hub for futuristic aircraft. The Vertiport is going to be a special kind of airport that is that that in our case is going to be able to both host traditional fixed wing aircraft, but also the next generation of urban air transportation, which is electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicles. If that sounds like a mouthful, just simply call them flying cars or flying taxis. Port San Antonio is present at this year's TechStot Innovation Invitational Showcase, taking place at the Henry B. Gonzalez Convention Center in downtown San Antonio. Think uh, what would happen if perhaps we can relieve uh, the number of commuters that come to us every day by car and instead if they opt for this uh, upcoming generation of transport, that's going to be a tremendous saving. It's also going to make our roadways that much more efficient. There are different types of cutting edge innovations like autonomous vehicles and these drones that are set to revolutionize travel across Texas and beyond. These new technologies are going to help people make improvements to the road. You can see there's a mobile mapping system here behind us and that's explicitly meant to drive these roads. You can go up to 70 miles an hour with it and keep people off the roads and improve pavement conditions. So you can assess the current condition of the road. If you want to learn more about these technologies and speak with experts driving these innovations, the event is free and open to the public until 4 p.m. today. Tiffany Huertas, KSAT 12 News.